and on Facebook. Oh, that I do. Yeah, because that's people who supposedly like me. So fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm sorry I insulted you guys during the... <laughs> No, you're not. You're no, not. You're not. No, you're he not. worked on those. Listen, no. I, I thought you guys were going to bring the heat. You guys make fun of me all the well, time. Which of the insults are you most uh, apologetic about? Uh, I like calling Danielle old. I feel bad about that. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't even take offense at it. Don't no, worse on, on calling me pear-shaped. Yeah, I, I'm nice. okay with the scary insults. And, and, refer, and refer the least good looking. is kind of old. <laughs> well, she is, I mean, compared to Sam, kind of older. Uh, Sam's not in. You gotta put one more. No. Yeah, it's okay. Ahead, what kind of a comment is that? Like well, I'm thing. old compared to a toddler. It was. It was a fact. I was like five when you were born. I'm older than you. Right. Yeah. I don't take that See? as an insult. It's a fact. Thank older you. and old are two different suggestive things, though. Can I and be you honest? went with old. Yeah. Yeah. Unpopular opinion. I kind of thought you were on fire today, Nate. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, but Eminem never apologized in 8 Mile after the freestyle, and now you're apologizing for all the insults Yeah, but I got to work did. with these people every day. That was a movie. And let's ah, pretend Nate is anything I like say, Eminem. How dare like, you compare those no. two? No. Yeah. How well, dare you? No. Know. If you don't get old, you drop dead. So, Thanks you know what? Exactly. At this point, it's there's like, two, whatever. There's only two options. <laughs> right, exactly. That's right. That's True right. story. Okay. It makes well, me uh, laugh uh, yeah, that, yeah, like, yeah. old is looked down upon, but really only out here. In other places, they revere older people. Yeah. They look to them for information. They respect them. They honor them. Here, we're like, you're 30, die. <laughs> 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 Moving you to the farm. Yeah. You know, speaking of older, I, I realized and found yesterday, did you know that there's a dating app? For older people called Silver Singles. Yeah. Oh my God. Stop hold, it. On. Yeah. hold on. Hold on. Get on there, Elvis. Singles. Stop it. Elvis. Elvis. Singles. <laughs> And there's, you can find, you know, I kind of just went through the motions yesterday, and there's some questions they ask you, like, hey, are you interested in men or women or whatever? And uh, there are 131 available matches in my zip code. Amazing. There's another one that? called Our Time, which I think sounds very like Our Time. Yeah, like Golden Girlsy Our Time. But what qualifies you as silver? Is it 50? Is it 65? What is silver? Right. Well, I'll tell you, uh, Gandhi. Yes. Uh, we're talking about how if you're 59 years old, and you give birth, it's called geriatric birth, right? 35. 30, I'm, yeah. 35, I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, take it back. 35. Mm -hmm. So are we saying that you're considered geriatric when you're 35 years old? If you're trying to have a baby, they let you know that you're old as shit and you should be careful because that's yeah. a geriatric pregnancy and they act completely different. They take different measures to take care yeah. of you. It's just higher risk because I was 36 well, when no, I but, gave but birth the, to my second. So but I mean, the word third geriatric, Danielle. I know. Right. <laughs> Come so like a better word, like advanced pregnancy. I have a friend right now. She's 34, so when she has the baby, she'll be 35. And all she says she hears all the time is, well, with your geriatric pregnancy, this could be blah, blah. She's all like, right. what in the hell? <laughs> so, <laughs> so in answer to your question, Scotty, uh, the, your silver years starts at 35. If you're a woman. <laughs> if you're a man, wow. apparently it's 70. Yeah. In, York, in you know, fairness, at that age when you're pregnant, you do walk like an old person. You can't get up out of a chair. There's a lot in common. The hell do you, you know about being pregnant? You walk the same way, Brody. <laughs> no, you, you don't, because I was married to a woman who had a baby, three of them, mm -hmm. and I'm telling you, they walk like, you know, at some point, a little hunched over, they pee all the time, they can't get out of a chair. Tell it's Danielle like more about old. what it's like to be pregnant. Seriously, no, mass pregnancy. Tell me, pregnancy. Danielle, <laughs> tell me like all about Sam, it, Brody. I was talking about my personal experience of my wife, <laughs> not all women. You kind of loved Danielle. being all women. I all loved right. being pregnant. I loved it. See, fuck you, Danielle. I want to be pregnant. <laughs> I, let me tell you. But look, a lot of people are miserable when they're pregnant. Everyone has a different well, road, a different experience. I'm miserable anyway. Might as well be pregnant. <laughs> hey, I felt like my skin glowed and my clothes fit the way they were supposed to, and I felt sexier. I don't know why. I love but that for wait, you. Wait, you told us it. another story earlier, Gandhi, about a friend of yours who's dating an old guy, <laughs> and she says he's old as fuck, right? Yeah. She said and he's he's 59 years old. I'm one year younger than him, so next year I'm officially old as fuck. But to your her. age is relative. How old is she? She's 32. Uh, so, that's not, that's not that's that young. Not that it's not. No, it's about, I mean, he's close to twice her age, but she was just like, he's old as fuck, but a bitch got to get dinner. And I'm like, I hate you. I hate you for not getting yeah, your own dinner. Yeah, but she's got to eat dinner at 4 p.m. <laughs> yeah, right. pretty much. She's she's pretty much. <laughs> I, I had say. an older moment yesterday. A senior moment? A senior moment. Yeah, so so I was walking with my glasses up here. Uh, Scary and I were about to do the Brooklyn Boys podcast yesterday, and I was heating up a small uh, slice of pizza. So I grabbed the pizza, had it on a plate, and I'm walking into my basement, 
where the there's a lip around the third step that if I was an inch shorter, I would be fine. But you kind of have to go like that, like a little dip when you go on into the basement. And I forgot because I was running through the podcast. So I smashed my glasses into the into the overhang, which you could see I broke one of the Oh no, bro. One of the arms there. And I went, Oh damn it. And then the pizza flew off my plate. Oh so sort of a combo moment. So uh the pizza ended up on the floor and I broke my glasses. So don't forget to duck when your stupid glasses are on your head. <laughs> you cute little old guy. I felt That's like right. an old pregnant woman. You should put your glasses on your head, Brody. You should get that little Fake pearl necklace. Where yeah. You could have them hanging off. Whoa, your... whoa, whoa! I don't. That's not. I'm not into that. <laughs> you said a fake one. A fake one. <laughs> oh, a fake one. Okay. Uh, Just a suggestion. On, they have them. They have them at Walgreens. <laughs> oh, on the chain. Put them on the chain. Oh yes. my gosh! Put them on the chain. Please do not ever put them on the. You chain. know, my dad wears two pairs of glasses, both on a chain. He, same time? I shit you not. Yeah, same time. He has his regular <laughs> glasses, but then instead of just switching to sunglasses or prescription sunglasses, he has this pair of sunglasses that goes over, over. his glasses. They're like so blue he wears blockers. Both of- <laughs> yeah. Your dad is such a fashion baller. Like, yeah. anytime you p- post a photo or describe what he wears, like, he is who I aspire to be every day. I love that, man, and I don't care if it's not ironic. He's it's a special, awesome. Gandhi, special guy, yes. Are they clip-on, or do they also have a second set of the arms? Second set of the arms. Arms. Oh. I'll find a photo. Yes. It's fascinating. And That's people awesome. definitely say, like, is that guy wearing two pairs of glasses? Yes, yes, he is. That's my dad. <laughs> you know what? Every once in a while you'll see people that have, you know, their prescription glasses, then they have a pair of sunglasses they'll put over them. Yes. There exactly was someone on vacation else. with us doing that. And finally, I, I said, look, you know, why are you doing this? <laughs> and what did Alex say? <laughs> <laughs> I said, when you're in the sun, what do you really need to see that crystal clear anyway? I mean, hello. Anyway. You know, hey, Garrett. Fa- Nate- Garrett falling asleep. What's going on, Garrett? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm making sure we stay afloat uh, behind the scenes. Oh. oh, good. Thank you, Garrett. What's that, Frog? Uh, Nate did something to you today that I did to somebody yesterday, and they got very upset with me, and you got upset with Nate today. He corrected the way that you say, how do you say the place where you park your car inside of something? I'm not getting into this. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> so... So I heard somebody yesterday say they were going to a restaurant, and it's the Italian restaurant C A R A B A S. How do you pronounce that? Carabas. Carabas. Yeah. Carabas. Carabas. They called it Carabas, and I'm like, no, 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 it's Ooh. Carabas, and they're like, no, it's not. It's however I say it. I'm like, no, you're saying it wrong. It's not however yeah, okay. you say it. Okay. If you say yeah. it wrong, it's wrong. It doesn't mean that Set. the way you say it is correct. Says well, the pumpkin guy. There's and there, yeah, mm-hmm. and there's a way you can correct people without being super rude about it. So when they say carabas and you know it's carabas, maybe you can just be like, "Oh, I love carabas." And That's let exactly them know what that I did. Way. And oh, I thought you said I told him it was wrong. I disagree with you hundred percent because I think it also depends on where you come from. Where and the fuck do you live it that it's carabas? So, <laughs> Mar- so you yell at me for saying Mario and say it's Mario, but in the Bronx it's okay. Mario. That's what it, what he Buy me a place so. where where carabas. Carabas. No, 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 no. It, okay, I. I must say, it is Mario if that person is Mario and he wants you to call him Mario. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm assuming that the Caraba family would like for you to call it right. Caraba. <laughs> right, not Carabas. Right. What about Houston's and Houston's? Which one is it? It's Houston's. Okay. It's, Hi, Scotty. It's, Houston's. It is. It's, it's Houston's. Houston Street because it's that's, named after a guy named Houston. Yeah, that's right. that's a different thing. It's right. Houston's. Right. Anyway. <laughs> It's got good uh, spinach. Spinach dip, yeah. <laughs> all the best. Spinach artichoke. That's all they dip. have. Yeah, yeah, the artichoke thing. No, no they, they don't. They are you kidding me? Their you, cheeseburgers no, and their crazy. Their, ribs. Their ribs, ribs fall well, off no the bone. No one bones. ever yeah. says. No one oh. ever says the ribs are great. They go Houston's. Oh, the spinach dip. Oh, and I don't eat spinach, so I'm not going there. We used to go there all the time when we when I lived in South Florida. We oh, don't go there it's anymore. so good. You know what, Brody? You you must take our advice on just for once. Listen to what we're saying. Go to Houston's. They yeah. have fantastic food the there, other amazing. than the spinach okay. artichoke. Well, good. That's the I want. To hear that. Like, for instance, oh, we'll they have the teriyaki marinated sirloin steak, which is so oh. awesome. Oh. Yeah, they have they, they have incredible they, food. So just give them a try. The ribs Not are right. the best. The ribs are amazing. Now you're talking. Okay. This is the weirdest podcast. <laughs> Look at Nate's hair. You can tell he's had a shitty fucking day. Yeah, I yeah. Have. <laughs> he's pulling I have. it out. You were looking looking yesterday. So quiet. Yesterday yeah. your hair was good. Yeah. I know. He was actually uh, yeah. he was in a better mood yesterday. <laughs> Today's more alive. I love it. Thank you. Scary. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I've got nothing to say on the matter. Wow. On any of the matters. <laughs> on any of the matters. <laughs> no, I'm just... All the matters. I'm, you know, if I had something to say, I'd interject. Do you have something so to say about something scary. else? No, no. I, I, about, about what? 
And I have nothing. No. Why, why is everybody looking at me? This is getting awkward. <laughs> oh, so uh, your wife, Lisa Froggy, posted this. Nine classes that should be mandatory in high school. Number one, accounting. Hell yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Number two, money management. Uh -huh. That bitch should have took money management. She thinks it's all about <laughs> She doesn't ever worry about a credit. <laughs> Number three, taxes. Hell yeah. Yes. Number four, build and keep good credit. Yep. Number five, picking the right career. Mm -hmm. yep. Number six, nutrition. Number seven, self-defense. Love it. Number eight, time management. And number nine, self-confidence. Yep. All of those are great. And we also, had, how not to be a hoarder. How not to be a hoarder is a good one, too. Well, but see, I think we realize that now, but if we were to take those classes in high school, we would find those boring as hell, I think. Yeah, yeah but, but most but of the helpful. classes were. Right. Oh, no, no, exactly. no, 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 no. Now, like, we're like, you, hey, we needed those growing up. But if we were in it, like... Think about yourself in high school. I think we would find those classes boring as hell, though. But I, I will tell you, a lot of my a lot of my nieces and nephews had very very interesting classes that weren't available when I was in high school. Right. And they loved them, and, it, and they, a lot of them had to do with some of those things right there. But you know what? You have, I think you have better teachers now. No offense to the old teachers. Yeah. Probably. My That's teachers sucked. Important either way. Unlike when I had a math teacher who said I can't use a calculator during a test because I won't always have one on me. Bullshit, Mr. Reed. I always have one on me now. So, you know. <laughs> wow. Take that, Mr. Reed. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Look at Nate. He's getting more and more mad as the the day progresses. His no, hair's not. Why do you think I'm getting mad? Well, you just have a look on your. You have a puss on your face, which I, I think is a great expression. Where did that come from? Yeah, I'm gonna look a that puss, up. I know. It's always a sour puss, isn't it? Yeah. Is it? Don't be a sour puss. You have a puss on your face. Cats, the cats look miserable like that. So probably that. Elvis, you asked a question earlier that I think could start a great debate in this in this little room right now. What's that? You said if you had to unfollow one member of the show, oh. who would it be? <laughs> Why would you do that? Discussion? Why would you do that? <laughs> the podcast <laughs> begins now. For me, <laughs> for okay. me he said. Well, you got you got four and a half minutes left. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I just I everyone had a different answer. I thought it was interesting as to all the different answers. Well, see, okay, well let's answer why we would drop someone. Uh, the reason I would drop someone is because I just they don't really give me anything that's right. entertaining. You know, I don't know. Yeah. Right. It's like, not that you uh, dislike a person. I, I actually dropped a bunch of people yesterday just because they never post. Like, I looked at what their right. last post was, and it was from a year ago or two well, years ago. If so. that's the case, I would drop me because I don't really post all that much. Yeah, you do. You post no. plenty. You the post last time I posted was a week and a half ago. Or yeah, a week but ago. that's a week not a year. Ago. A week and a half is acceptable. Right. A Isn't year. It? I don't know, but Scary posts hourly. <laughs> not necessarily. I yeah, post on my just story. Sleeping. I would have to say, though, you know, even though I do a podcast with David Brody and we, course, we, yeah. we get along really well. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Teeing this up. I would I would drop David Brody because he's right. very polarizing online. He, he I don't like up. to see political posts at all. I don't make any political posts. He doesn't, posts. Do, he doesn't do political on, on Instagram. On, on Twitter, he is nothing but political. No, I'm so, not. Get it, Brody? No, I'm not. I have a secret the right account Brody? for politics. <laughs> you have I don't, a secret I don't, I don't, I don't, Wait, wait, wait. Ever, no. ever, ever post politics. And on you have a and secret on, account? Hold on. And on Facebook. Oh, that I do. Yeah, because that's people who supposedly like me. So fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but see what I'm saying? Like, well, but I don't think he wants to there anymore, Scary. <laughs> I, asked, I asked a question. You asked a question. I don't like seeing that. I get anxiety when I see anything well, that's politically fine. charged. I can block it. And maybe I'll unfriend you on Facebook, see, but I'll I, keep you on Instagram. I would pick Brody, oh, oh. too, but not for that reason. I would pick because he doesn't... I've got to go. I, My Wi-Fi. No. <laughs> but listen. My Wi-Fi. I... I <laughs> I tend to do Instagram more than anything else. And Brody posted July, like four days ago, he posted something. But then before that, he hasn't posted since like late June, like mid-June. So to me, he doesn't post enough. So you'd unfollow me? So I would me unfollow you. Not... Yeah, I would be like, well, he doesn't really well, so post. cost you money the... to follow me? <laughs> no. The question was, the you have to pick somebody. The question was, you have to pick somebody. Right. Thank you, Elvis. And Thank so, you, Elvis. It, <laughs> and so it, it's, her reason is uh, she just wants more content from you. Right. She, it's not, she's not it's, getting enough. I don't right. know. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Elvis. So I don't know. I don't know. Daniel wants to unfollow me for posting, and Daniel wants to unfollow me for not posting. Right. Exactly. Uh, That's I got true. you. Mm -hmm. That's got basically you. it. Okay. Mine is much nicer reason, Brody. See, <laughs> now, Nate never really posts anything. Yeah, he doesn't. I, I don't know. I've really kind of, the last six, I don't know. I'm, I'm not big into social media much anymore. So you can unfollow me. I really won't care. That's yeah, but yeah, we Danielle. all asked him. We, we all asked Nate, hey, where are you going on vacation? I'm not going. And then he posts a picture from Italy, That's though. That's true. Yeah, really. I, I asked. 
asked him as we were going on vacation, hey, you decide anywhere you're going? Silence. Then he pops up in Italy. I'm like, this yeah. mother. He bitch. was so um, full of shit with that comment. Yeah. That, no way. He just didn't Nate, want anybody to know. I know Nate why. has always been very, very guarded about his private life and his vacation. There's nothing but wrong with that. But then he posts it. But so why can't you tell us where you're going on vacation, Nate? Like, we're not yeah. going to join you there. It's- I know. <laughs> By the way, I must say for the record, I asked him uh, privately, and he told me where he yeah. was going. He told me he was going to try to go to Italy. Okay. We, honestly, to and be, I think he said that because I had been to where he was going. Yeah, and I think and, maybe and to be honest, about. we didn't even have it fully booked prior to us leaving for vacation. We just we saw the flights were cheap. We were talking about it. We hadn't fully pulled the trigger because we didn't know what Italy was doing in terms of COVID, and they were allowing people. So then. Like a couple of days into vacation, we saw that, hey, yeah, people are traveling to Italy and they loosened some of the restrictions. So we're like, okay, let's book it. There you so, go. Hey, okay. we got to get out of here. We have stuff to do. Uh, I got to post on Instagram for Danielle. I got to go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> have a good one for scary. Brody, have a good drop, everyone. It wasn't supposed to be an insult. We- Say goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.